Welcome to the Concise NetHack video about adjusting inventory and spell keyboard keys for quicker gameplay. The Concise NetHack videos show you what you need to know about specific NetHack areas without wasting your time. In this video, I'll show you some strategies for playing NetHack more quickly by not having to examine your inventory and spell list as often. So when you pick up an item in NetHack or learn a spell, the NetHack automatically assigns a keyboard key to it. For example, here I am, I'm a tourist, I'm standing next to an altar and there's an item on the floor there. If I step on the item and pick it up, you can see that NetHack has assigned it the key uh, D for the inventory. So if I get an inventory of my weapons, you can see that uh, D is this ruined arrow here. What if I wanted to make it a different letter instead of D? Well, if I press, if I type pound adjust, or just press uh, Alt-A on Windows, Alt-A, uh, Alt I can pick an item to adjust. I'm going to pick D, and I maybe want to put it in the N slot. So it's moved my ruined arrow to N. Um, likewise, if I look at all my spells by pressing the plus key, uh, you can see I know a number of spells here. I've got Slow Monster assigned to T, so I can cast Slow Monster by pressing Shift-Z, T. If I wanted to adjust Slow Monster to the S key, I can just press T, and then it asks me, swap T with, and I press S, and now S is my Slow Monster, and T is changed to Detect Treasure. Um, when I play NetHack, I assign my commonly used items and spells to the same keys every time I play the game. That time, or that way, I don't have to continually look at my inventory list to find the item that I want to use or the spell I want to cast. So in this video, I'm going to show you the keys that I typically use. You may want to choose to use the same keys or other keys, but uh, if you know where an item is when you use it, it speeds up your gameplay a lot. So first of all, let's talk about armor. If I look at my armor with the left square bracket key. You can see that I've assigned my uh, body armor to shift A, my gloves to shift G, my hat is shift H, my cloak is shift R for robe, my shoes are shift S. And I'll use these same letters no matter what body armor, what gloves, or what particular uh, um, armor I'm wearing. I use shift letters for armor because to wear or take off uh, an item of armor, you use Shift W and Shift T. So it's easy, for example, if I want to wear my shoes, I hold down the Shift key and hit uh, WS for wear my shoes. If I want to take off something, those shoes, I would hold down the Shift key and hit TS. It speed things up quite a bit. So if I have a shirt, I'll use a lowercase s for the shirt because uh, Shift S is already used, uppercase S is already used. And the same for a shield. I don't typically use shields, but I would put them in shift S also if I want, or in lowercase s. If I wanted to wear both a shirt and a shield, I'd have to pick a different letter for one of those. All right, tools. <clears throat> if I get an inventory of my tools, I always put my bag in the key B, B for bag. Um, for historical reasons, I put my towel or blindfold to be blind. I can't use B because that's for bag. I use E for uh, my blindfold, and I use Shift E for my lenses. Lenses are great for reading spell books more successfully. Lowercase E makes me blind on my eyes. Uppercase E puts lenses on my eyes. Pick letters that work for you. K is always my key. L is always my light source, my candle, or my lamp. P is always my pickaxe. U is always my unicorn horn. Um, I put my artifact item, if I'm going to be applying it, in the same slot, too. I use Shift-Y for the Platinum Yandorian Express card. And other items you use, you put them where you want. Uh, your stethoscope, you could put that under S if you wanted. Uh, magic marker, I always put under M. Um, a touchstone, also, uh, you could put that under T. I use T for something else. I actually use O for my touchstone if I want to identify gems. All right, uh, rings. I don't typically carry a lot of rings in my main inventory, but if I look at my rings by Shift-I for inventory of a particular type of item and then hit equals for rings, um, I usually use uppercase letters for rings because uh, you use Shift-P and Shift-R to put on and remove a ring. 
Uh, one exception is H, lowercase h for my ring of hunger because uppercase h is my hat. C for conflict, D for ring of slow digestion if I have one, L for my ring of levitation, and then other rings as you see fit. My weapons. Uh, I always put my main attack weapon in slot A, and the reason I do that is because most rolls start out with the attack weapon in slot A, and I just leave it there. Uh, my quivered item I use under slot Q, so I can hit shift Q, lower Q to quiver an item. And then I put my secondary weapon, if I'm two weaponing, under T. Put, put it wherever it makes sense for you. Let's look at my spells now. I'm a tourist. I've read a lot of spells. I always put my attack spell under A, just like I put my attack weapon under A. Uh, tourists don't use spells to attack usually, but if I did, I'd have it there. Uh, I will use C for create monster if I'm going to use it. I would use, uh, well, I do use I for my identify, greatest spell ever. Magic mapping, super helpful for Gehenna. Um, uh, remove curse, I sometimes cast, so I put that under R. Um, and, oh, polymorph, for if I'm a wizard and I'm polypiling, I'll put that under P. And I like to have one spell in my inventory somewhere for becoming confused, right? Uh, I'm not doing that yet, but sometimes it's nice to become confused, for example, if you want to level port. So pick one slot for your confuse, confuse spell. I normally don't use uh, special keys for my consumables, so scrolls, potions, spell books. I don't keep them in my main inventory if I can avoid it because they're subject to being destroyed. I put them in a bag or I put them in my stash. I just don't carry them with me with two exceptions. One is uh, P. I will use Shift P for my scrolls of teleportation. Until I have a dependable wand of teleportation, I will carry scrolls of teleportation in my main inventory. I put them under P so I can teleport quickly. I use M for my magic marker if I have it. And if I'm writing scrolls, I'm probably going to be the stage of the game where I want to write a lot of them in a row. So I put all my blank scrolls under N, my magic marker under M, and say I wanted to write six or eight enchant armor scrolls. I can just do apply M N, enchant armor, apply N M, enchant armor. It's pretty quick for me to type if I know where that, uh, where all my blank scrolls are. So these are the keys that I use. You probably have some good recommendations. Put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say to make things even faster and better. That's all I want to cover for now. I hope you've enjoyed this concise NetHack video about managing your keyboard keys. Thank you for watching.